Days after tropical cyclone Idai struck Zimbabwe, families are coming to terms with what they've lost. Morgan Dube was 83 years old. He was sleeping when a torrent of water washed away his home. He was expecting to see me as the last son-in-law in the family. But uh, I'm really pained because I was expecting to see him, talking to him, but only to come and see a body. It was not all that okay for me. Hilda Dube says she can't find her teenage stepson. I think he was crushed under the house. If he's dead, I need to find him and bury him. I need to know so I can move on with my life. There are many such stories in Chimani Mani. Phone lines have been damaged and roads have been cut. They say there is no way of knowing if other relatives and friends are alive. People in the community say when it started raining, lots of water came down from the hills over there carrying lots of rubble, covering some of the houses in the area. The police say there was a bus up on the road over there. It overturned, fell down and was covered in mud, sludge and water. According to them, they say at least two people are still missing. There have been two funerals here today, two of them there from the houses there in the corner and this one here is the latest one. Government officials are still assessing the scale of the damage. Before the floods, Zimbabwe had been dealing with a drought. The waters have washed what crops farmers hope to soon harvest. Soldiers say it could take days, if not weeks, to clear the landslides. They have been tasked with fixing damaged infrastructure, rescuing those stranded and retrieving bodies, especially in Gangu village. In that village, we are told, uh, like this place, a slide came from nowhere and ran across the, the village and uh, separated the village in two parts. And uh, so far we are not clear uh, 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 how many houses actually went under the rubble. Uh, but uh, this is the place we have recovered uh, so far up to 40 bodies. The sighting of a military helicopter provides at least hope that some help is coming. Food has begun arriving for a few. The rest of the aid is slowly making its way by road. There is no way of knowing how long it will take them to reach those still cut off by floodwaters. Harumutasa Al Jazeera, Chimani Mani, Zimbabwe.